Hi everyone, welcome to a new video by Talent Battle. This one is on logical reasoning. Okay, this uh, video is going to contain the previous year questions of the TCS NQT exam, which was held a couple of months back. I think so, around about in uh, October and November, it was held. Okay, at that point of time. So the questions are from that slot and uh, from that exam. So we are going to check out a few questions of the logical reasoning section in this video. Okay. Also do subscribe to our YouTube channel to get latest updates about such useful videos to help you guide your preparation. You can even join our telegram channel for practice questions and latest updates. So let's start with the questions. In the following diagram, the triangle stands for males, the circle stands for doctors, the rectangle stands for government employed, the hexagon stands for Corona warriors. The numbers in different segments show the number of persons for that segment. Okay. How many government employed doctors are Corona warriors but are not males? So over here, first of all, we want government employed. Government employed is denoted by rectangle. So we'll focus only on the numbers inside the rectangle. Okay. So these are six numbers inside the rectangle. Doctors, government employed doctors. Doctors is denoted by circle. So everything inside the circle is our concern. Cancel this out. Uh, cancel this one out. Okay. Only four are remaining. Now we want our Corona warriors. So we want Corona warriors. Hexagon is Corona warriors. So anything outside the hexagon is cancel it out. Okay. 22 and 16 are remaining are not males. Males are triangle. So inside triangle not useful. Outside triangle useful. Answer is option C 16. In the following diagram, the rectangle stands for tennis fans, circle stands for athletes, triangle stands for students, square stands for hockey players. The number in different segments show the number of persons. Okay, How many athletes playing hockey are either students or tennis fans but not both. Okay, First of all, we want athletes that means whoever are there inside the circle is our concern. Okay, So cancel others out. Okay? Uh, so what I will do is I will not keep on cancelling everything. Right Now playing hockey. Hockey is denoted by square. So inside the square and circle, it is this. Okay. Uh, this is not there. It is this and it is this. Okay. These are only three numbers that are of concern to us. Right. Athletes playing hockey. These are the three numbers 10, 9 and 5 are either students or tennis fans. So they have to be either students or they have to be tennis fans. Now students are denoted by what? Triangle. So inside triangle is 5. So this is fine. Okay. Now these five students, are they tennis fans? Tennis fans are inside the rectangle. Is five inside the rectangle? No. So we can use five over here. Or tennis fans, okay. They should not be students. They should be tennis fans. Tennis fans is what? Rectangle. Nine is there in rectangle. So nine is allowed, okay. Nine is not there inside the, tri uh, sorry, what we say is triangle. Yes, triangle stands for student. Nine is not there in triangle. So nine is allowed because or is there any one of the case. Now, these 10 students are not a part of students also. They are not a part of tennis fans also. Not even this and not even this. So, we cannot use that. So, answer is 5 plus 9. That is 14. Option C. In a certain code, A percentage B means A is the brother of B. A and B means A is the mother of B. A at the rate B means A is the daughter of B. A dollar B means A is the father of B. A hash B means... A is the sister of B. If this relation is given, then how T is related to you? Now, over here, just focus on U and T part. Okay. From U to T. Don't, no need for this relation which is there. U and T means U is the mother of uh, U and H means U is the mother of H. That means U is female. Okay. H hash N means H is the sister of N. So, H is female. N at the rate T means N is the daughter of T. So N is female, N is the daughter, that means T must be sort of the husband of you because both of them are sisters, uh, okay, sorry, brother, sister, siblings, which is there. So this comes out to be male. So T is the husband of you, that is option C. Four friends, A, B, C and D have one of the four professions, doctor, architect, engineer and lawyer. Each friend belongs to one of the four different cities, Chandigarh, Indore, Lucknow and Pune. A is not a lawyer or engineer. The doctor is from Lucknow. Okay. D is an architect. The lawyer is from Pune. Engineer is neither from Chandigarh nor Pune. D is not from Pune. C is from Indore. Which of the following statements is correct about B? First, check out the statements. Don't draw the diagram. B is the lawyer and belongs to Chandigarh. 
B is a doctor belongs to Pune, B is a doctor belongs to Chandigarh, B is a lawyer and belongs to Pune. Now over here without drawing the diagram, just by reading the question, we can mark the answer immediately in 10 to 15 seconds. Pay attention. B is a doctor and belongs to Pune. Already it is given that the doctor belongs to Lucknow. So B, if B is a doctor and belongs to Pune, this option is wrong. B is a doctor and belongs to Chandigarh, this also option is wrong because the doctor belongs to Lucknow, it is given. Now, so B is the lawyer is established, okay. B is the lawyer and belongs to Chandigarh, already it is given lawyer is from Pune. So first option is cancelled out, answer is option D. The number of employees working in six different departments in two companies A and B are given below. Study the given data and answer the questions that follow, okay. Now the departments are marketing. HR, production, accounts, operations, planning, okay, and two uh, companies A and B are given over here. Total employees in company A are 1202 and total employees in company B are 1694. The question is, what is the percentage difference between the employees working in the production department of company A and company B? That means we have to find the percentage of employees in the production department of company A we have to find the percentage of employees in the production department of company B, okay? And then we have to find the difference in the percentage. Now this percentage, that is the number of employees in the production department, percentage of production employees will be as compared to the total employees, okay? So for company A, the percentage will be what? 504 employees work in the production department and total employees are 1202. When you multiply it by 100, okay? Now there would uh, be a virtual calculator so you can use it and you can immediately get the answer as 41.93% okay this is for company A. For company B okay number of employees in the production department is 736 and the total employees are 1694 into 100 okay. So how much percent of the total employees is in production that is what we have to find out. So it comes out to be 43.44% and the difference Okay, that is nothing but you have to subtract. The difference comes out to be 1.52% option C. Now the same graph over here, uh, same whatever table is given over here, the question is different. If 30 employees of the planning department quit company B and join the planning department of company A, then what is the percentage of employees in the planning department in the total employees in company A? Okay, so we have to find what is the percentage of employees in the planning department in the total employees. That means as compared to the total employees in company A, what is the percentage of employees in the planning department, right? So first what happens is from the planning department over here, 30 people go out, okay, 30 people are out and they are joining over here. So total planning department people comes out to be 76 over here, okay. Also, do not forget that the total employees will also increase and it is going to be 1, 2, 3, 2. Many of them forget this, okay, they keep it 1, 2, 0, 2 only, they add 30 over here, that is correct, but they forget to add 30 in the total employees. So now, what is the percentage of employees in the planning department as compared to the total employees in company A? It is going to be 76 divided by 1, 2, 3, 2 multiplied by 100, okay, that comes out to be 6.16%. Right, that is option B. If you take 76 upon 1202 into 100, you are going to get the answer as 6.32 percent. Okay, and you might mark this as the answer, but that is wrong. Okay, don't forget to add 30 employees from here, okay, which have come from the company B. We have to add in total also. So, total employees becomes 1232 now. So, answer is not this, this is the answer. The third question is, if both company A and B merge together to form company C, then what is the percentage of marketing and accounting employees in the total employees of company C? Now, if you merge both the companies, the total employees is going to be 1202 plus 1694. That comes out to be 2896. These are the total number of employees. Okay. Now, if both the companies A and B merge together to form company C, so, and we have to find out the percentage of marketing and accounting employees of both the companies. So, marketing is 256, okay, and 524, and accounts is 68 and 122. So, the total employees of marketing and accounts department will be what? 256 plus 524 plus accounts department, it is 68 plus 122. 
so the total employees come out to be 970 it is like 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 20 okay 970 so now both these department combined as compared to the total employees of company c okay what is the percentage so that comes out to be 33.49 percent now over here all use the tcs virtual calculator which is available okay for quick calculations answer is option a there are five rods k l m n and o the weight of l is equal to the weights of k and m taken together okay so l will be equal to k and m taken together fine weight of o is k and n taken together so o will be k plus n taken together the weight of m is twice the weight of k weight of m is twice the weight of k fine weight of n is three times the weight of m weight of n is three times the weight of m okay the weight of n is 90 kg then what will be the weight of o now over here weight of n is given as 90 kg so this comes out to be 90 this is 90 so what is the weight of m m is going to be 90 divided by 3 that comes out to be 30 kg right if m is 30 kg i'll put over here 30 kg value of k is going to be what 30 kg divided by 2 that is 15 kgs right and weight of o is going to be this is 15 15 plus 90 that comes out to 105 kgs so this is the weight of o option c is the answer a statement is followed by two assumptions numbered 1 and 2 consider the statement and decide which of the given assumptions is are implicit in the statement the statement is various government across the world have issued strict guidelines for the public to wear masks and wash hands regularly to safeguard their health during covid-19 pandemic assumptions covid-19 pandemic is serious health issue and second assumption is there are ways by which people can save themselves from covid-19 pandemic now in the statement what what is the government recommending wearing the masks and washing hand regularly okay what is the reason to safeguard their health during the pandemic that means there are ways in which people can save themselves from pandemic so this assumption follows right also why is the various governments across the entire world issuing strict guidelines because it is a serious health issue so both the assumptions follow both are implicit so answer is option b what is wrong one in the following series now if you carefully observe okay c m q okay then f p t i'll write the series over a j t x o y c and u f i okay so c to m if you start counting okay the difference is going to be 10 okay from c to m d you can see over a d e f g h i j k l and m 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10th one is M. Same way from F to P, okay, it is going to be 10th one, 10 only. No need to write again, what you can do is F is what, third over here and after N, O and P, again third from M, okay, so 10 will be the difference. Same way for our J to T, the difference is 10, from O to Y, difference is 10. Now, if you talk about U to F, so what happens is that when you write uh, like this, S, T, U, v w x y z now u to f don't come in reverse okay after z it is always a b c d e and f okay it is always reverse so it goes on like this before a is always z after z is always a because it is a cyclic thing okay remember so after you 10th one should be f let us check out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10th one is E, okay, so F is 11th one, so this one which is there, it is the odd man out, it is the wrong one, so answer is option D, U, F, I. In a certain code, K star N means K is the brother of N, K plus N means K is the husband of N, K into N means K is the mother of N, okay, K, X, N, I'll write, K divided by N means K is the sister of N, then which of the following expression means that C is the daughter of Y. C is the daughter of Y that means C has to be female compulsory. Okay. Now if you pay close attention C star H and C star V. K star N means K is the brother that means K comes out to be male. So C star H means C is male. C star V means C is male. So we want C to be female. So these two options get immediately cancelled out. Now we have to check out only these two options. So try to draw the diagram only for these two options. Okay. Now if you see option D, 
y multiplied by r what is multiplied y is the mother of r y is the mother of r okay y is female right now r plus h r is the husband of h plus sign means what husband r is the husband of h so r is male h is female okay next h star c h is the brother of c brother of c is not possible no star means what k is k star n means k is the brother of n h star c means h is the brother is not possible because h is female so this option gets cancelled out answer is option c